Hello my peoples, welcome back. We're on part seven. This is proper thorough course. I hope you are finding value in this. Um, I'm starting to see the real thing that business analysts. <laughs> But okay, <laughs> let's go straight into the video. Okay, so last time we talked about situation investigation and problem analysis as the first step when a business analyst is placed on a project. That's the first thing you want to do. You want to understand why are we doing this project? What is the as this process? What are the issues? And why are we um, for the purpose of our video? Why are we sorry for the purpose of our project? Why are we moving from CRM to on cloud? Yeah. But okay, for today's video now, we're looking at the second step. Consider the perspectives. What does that mean? What does that mean? Perspective is the view, right? The view or the interest of the people that the project is impacting, of your stakeholders. Um, in your situation investigation problem analysis, you have identified the key stakeholders and users of the system, haven't you? Yes, you have. So now you want to see what is more important to each of those stakeholders? What's important to sales team is sales processes, which we covered last time. What's important to marketing team is marketing um, processes because they need details that the salespeople would have gathered to be able to do their marketing campaigns, right? They need details from sales to understand customer. <laughs> so they need details from the sales team in order to do their work. There is a sort of handover in the process, right? Um, however, marketing team's perspective or um, interest in the project is different from the sales team perspective or interest. So you would have various perspectives um, to consider as a business analyst. Okay. So what are the various tools that we use here? Stakeholder analysis. We have to analyze our stakeholders um, by first. You can't analyze stakeholder without knowing who your key stakeholders are. What is their name? What is their role? And what do they use the system for? For the ones who don't even use the system, what is their interest? What is their um, what is their level of power in making decisions for whatever changes will be made um, in this project? Stakeholder matrix. I have a video about stakeholder matrix, which I will link so that you will now know how to do your stakeholder analysis. You first need to identify who the stakeholder is, what is their role, like I mentioned, what department it is that they work. Mm, and then you now want to know what their level of power or interest is on the project, power interest grid. So you want to conduct this stakeholder analysis, identify your key stakeholders, their level of power, uh, interest and influence in the migration project. This will really help you to prioritize your stakeholder engagement, how you engage with your stakeholders, um, the efforts that you need to put into engagement with your stakeholders, as well as ensuring that all the perspectives are taken into account. You don't want to miss out any stakeholder. You want to ensure that you have all the list of people that your project impacts. You don't want to get into trouble. <laughs> okay. You don't you it's a team effort, right? Project delivery is team effort. So everybody has their place on project. <laughs> Business analysts were there from the start, uncovering, discovering, um, building relationships. So this stakeholder analysis aspect, it's an ongoing aspect, considering the perspective is ongoing throughout the project, um, because you might also um, explore new stakeholders in the process. So one technique that, and another technique apart from your stakeholder matrix, which I have a video of, is catwalk. Catwalk is a technique. You don't really need to share this with everybody in your project. It's a personal BA technique or tool that we use for uh, managing our stakeholder perspectives, right? Um, so it provides a, stake, a framework for defining and analyzing your business stakeholder perspective, okay? And it stands for customer, the actor, the transformation, worldview, owner, and environment. So the customer, you want to know who are the beneficiaries of the business process. How does the issue affect your customers, right? Your actors, who is involved 
in the situation? Who are the users of the system? The transformation, what is the transformation that lies at the heart of the system, the CRM system in this case? The worldview, worldview is big picture. What is the big picture? And what are the wider impacts, right, of the issue? And then the O in Catwell, who owns the process or situation being investigated uh, and what role will they play in the, in the solution? So these are your identifying, again, your stakeholders and so that you know how to manage them. Um, and then the E in Catwell stands for the environmental constraints, which is like, what are the constraints that will impact the solution and the success of that solution? All these things will impact your stakeholders. So that's another um, technique that we use. I'll explain deeper in another video, but for the purpose of today's video, part seven, consider the perspective. Look, look at the keywords there, perspectives. F stakeholders will always have different perspectives. And at the same time, you also need to be aware that this perspective might impact your requirements. It would also bring forth um, conflicting requirements, um, stakeholder being um, resistant to change uh, and all those other factors about people management stakeholder management so please be aware of that at this stage okay so you've identified your stakeholders you've known what the um, current processes are what the issues and the pains are um, you've you've mapped some process maps right now the next step which is the third step is to analyze these needs that you've gathered which is what we will cover in our next video part eight analyze needs we'll cover that in more detail the third step of the ba approach i hope you've enjoyed today's video don't forget to like subscribe share this content with your family your friends and your enemies <laughs> this is really really good um it's like a, a course that i'm giving here on youtube and i'm so excited about it and i hope that it's helping again please comments, questions, I'm happy to answer. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.